So today on Pat's Car Garage, I got the back of the Mercedes up on ramps, as you can tell. And the reason for that is uh, I want to replace the heating valve, which is right down there. So I raised the back of the car just to try and get the coolant level. Uh, try to get this to be as high as possible, uh, but it looks like I'm just going to siphon some coolant out of the expansion bottle just to get the level below the, uh, the the heating valve so that when I open the hoses, a bunch of coolant doesn't come spilling out. So yeah, let's get right to it. This is a pretty straightforward job. Raising the back of the car probably isn't even necessary. When you siphon out some of the coolant from the expansion tank, you will hardly lose any when disconnecting the hoses for the duo valve. Just make sure to keep the rear two hoses elevated so coolant doesn't flow out of the heater core. Other than that, raise the hood up to the service position to get better access. And don't be afraid to unplug and remove some of the components present in that compartment. It's a tight fit. I also found it helpful to remove the bracket holding the dual valve to get better access to the hose clamps. The nuts for the brackets are on the engine side of the firewall. Reassembly is the opposite of disassembly. Just don't forget to plug everything back in and tighten the hose clamps. Put the coolant you siphoned out back into the expansion tank and start the engine. I like leaving the coolant cap loose on the first startup to help bleed any air out of the system. Check for leaks, let the engine warm up and make sure the dual valve holds the interior cabin temperature steady. Once everything works, tighten the coolant cap down and you are ready to go. Thanks for watching.